Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Magdalena. I'm a house called Dog Groomer. I groom dogs in people's homes for a living. And if you are not new here, welcome back. How are you? How are you doing? Well, great, awesome. I am having a monster right now, so I am like boom, 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 boom. Okay, so if the energy is kind of crazy, that's why. I just need, I've just been, today's the day that I'm running errands and I just need to get stuff done. Today's video, I'm just gonna be taking you with me on a couple of errands, nothing crazy, but basically what I do on my days off, or kind of what I do on my days off, but today I'm gonna be organizing my car. I bought a lot of really cute stuff from Target in the dollar section to organize my car. I've been meaning to do it since I've gotten the business up and running because it's not crazy, but it could be better, and I feel like I finally have the things that I want to put in my car so I'll show you that in a second but basically today has just been like a running start um, it is my only day off this week which is fine I did that to myself and I feel fine so far um, but basically I got up this morning at 10 o'clock because don't ask me to do anything unless it's going to the beach on my day off before noon um, got up at 10 had breakfast I was dog sitting so I walked the dog, had to take him back home, and then after that I got my I got some piercings done. I don't know if you can see. I got some piercings done. I got this helix and then my conch on the inner ear, which was amazing and kind of like weird to say, but grounding. Like it kind of woke me up and was like this is really happening, like this is my life right now. You know, I mean, I have like a bunch of tattoos and piercings, so nothing new, but definitely like a good wake up call. After that, I got my car washed. I wash my car every week and vacuum the inside and the trunk because there's a lot of hair, it gets messy, kind of gross. And then I went to the bank, took care of some bank stuff. I have to go to my other bank because my business bank and my personal bank are two separate banks so I have to go make a deposit and then I want to really organize my car I'm so excited because organization just makes me like oh, it's, just, mm, it's just so good so we're gonna go do that and I'm gonna take you with me to do that that's really the main reason why I wanted to film this video I also wanted to organize the space where I keep all of my shampoos and products so I'll be able to show you that too like how I store all of that stuff because since I'm a house call dog groomer, I don't have a store to keep all my stuff. And I don't keep it in my apartment because I am blessed enough to have a storage unit in my apartment complex to store my stuff. So we're gonna go do that today. I also gotta answer some voicemails and emails before we go do that, take a look at the schedule and kind of make sure everything's like in order. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see and give the video a thumbs up. Tell me something, a little something, something about your dog, what you like about them or your pet, your guinea pig, your parrot, your iguana, whatever you, you've got going on over there. Um, all right, and let's, let's go. Let's go do this thing. Hi, Tiffany, this is Magdalena calling from Safe Haven House Calls. Hi, how are you? I am gathering everything that I need for this particular bunch of errands. I got my little tote bag that says Taco About Amazing because tacos are amazing and life is amazing. Um, GoPro stuff, some water, my vacuum just in case any, I find anything kind of weird in my trunk when I organize it. Why am I? Okay. When I organize anything, just sand from beach days, the rest of my monster, and then these towels that we folded so perfectly. Happy hoodies. These towels are for me because it has been so weltering. And then just like the regular towels. So we're gonna bring all of that down to the basement to my vehicle and then I'm gonna go to another location where there's more sunlight because the garage is real depressing and you can't see anything down there and um, I think that's about it so let's go
The goal right now is to find a spot in the shade because it is a comfy 90 degrees out right now. I would just like to not sweat my butt off and find a spot in the shade, kind of a quiet street. My street is very busy, so we are gonna find a quiet side street. And yeah, my piercing is hurting. It's not like, ooh, it's not horrible, but it's definitely, it's definitely there. I'm not, I'm debating on whether or not to go to a parking lot or to just find like a quieter side street. Um, I feel like the parking lots may be kind of busy right now. I'm not sure. I should go on my friend street. Cause then if anything happens to me, I can just yell for her, assuming she's home. But I don't know if she's home. But I think, I think, no. Cause I know there's an old person on that street that's kind of like nosy. Like super duper nosy. Like not in a nice way, nosy. I like nice nosy, but not rude nosy. All right, I'll see you guys when I get there cause ain't nothing really happening on this car right now, so. I didn't find a spot in the shade, but I did, I have great lighting, that's, uh, that's great. I'm just gonna show you what I have for today. I have roll paper towels, cause just in case. And then I got these small four gallon trash bags. I usually get eight, but I don't usually fill up the entire bag, so I just got these ones. I got these bad boys, um, just because I want there to be a scent in the in the car. Like it doesn't smell in here, but I just like, you know, like a nice smell. Who doesn't like nice smell? So I think we're gonna put this one in the car because your girl needs lavender for her days. Um, and this one can go in the storage unit. So I got two of those. And then I got these $5 bins. There, it's a three piece, so it has these small ones and then this larger one. And then this one can go in storage. And then here, this thing I'm gonna find a way I just need gum for anxiety you know I'm just gonna I'm gonna find a way to use this I think I might put this in the trunk for something not entirely sure yet oh and I got this really cute mushroom thing this is also going in my apartment this is not for the business but super cute from Target in the five dollar section I'm just gonna put that down there for now oh this is also for me it's just a makeup brush cleaner there I have like a bigger one of these that I'm gonna use for something else in the trunk and then I'm gonna put my towels away usually I use the gray bin for dirty towels and trash bags during the week all right okay let's get this thing started I'm gonna show you the trunk now also this parking lot is very busy so I'm not too concerned about getting uh you know bothered all right, my trunk is looking kind of nuts right now. What I have going on right now is I usually put like my happy hoodies in here and then there's like, I don't know, it's just random. So I put happy hoodies in here. I have this net for when I do double coated dogs. Like I have one golden retriever and I just put this around the table and around the dog so that hair doesn't fly everywhere. In the person's home, I have a tarp that I can lay down for people who don't have a space in their home without carpets and then I have these um, foot covers these shoe covers for people who prefer shoes to not be worn in the house and then my uh, broken down first aid kit for humans flyers I have a random pair of shorts in here this is supposed to go to my mom I have my backup dryer it's just looking a little insane towels are supposed to be in here and I have a bunch of stuff back there for my car so I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna start with this we're gonna take this out and yeah be, I'm gonna sit you guys down really quick okay so I think the first thing I'm gonna take care of so let me show you my trunk now now that everything's out I have my large table and then my small table my this should be in the front because it's meant for the windshield. Uh, trash. I have my paw mat for the larger table. Umbrella just in case. This is for the winter time. And then I have a larger arm just in case if a client provides a table at their home. And I think I'm just gonna transfer this stuff into here. That was 
what my goal was for that because I got it from the dollar store, this storage bin, and look, it's already broken. Basically, I just have a first aid pet kit, a first aid pet, a pet first aid kit, my corded clippers just in case of emergency. I gotta throw this one away because I have a new umbrella. And then there's just like random stuff I don't need in here anymore. Like I don't use these anymore. everything that I need and yeah we're gonna put this in the car now so oh and it fits right there look at that gorgeous step number two is I want to play with actually let's do towels So this is my towel bin for my car just because it's smaller and I could fit it in my trunk a lot better. Gorgeous. Let's get it fit this in here. Look at that. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze. use these products in here for a very long time so I think I'm actually gonna just move it to the back of the car instead where it originally was because that makes more sense to me For this, I believe I'm going to put my trash bags in there. I always keep trash bags in the car instead of in storage because I have shown up to a house before and have forgotten to bring trash bags. So I've either had to ask them for something or, you know, I've had to ask them for a trash bag before. And I don't really like asking for stuff because of hyper independence because that's a thing, right, Ooh, that I struggle with. So I don't like asking for stuff and I just like being prepared. I don't, the whole point of my business is for the client to not have to lift a finger, except for, you know, opening the door for me. So let's fill this. I think putting the trash bags in there would be an awesome idea. So that can go there. Oh, fabulous. Wow, and it matches this. I think I'm gonna put this in here like that. Cause I don't really use these three, three things that often, but I do like having them just in case I need them for a client. I don't have to like remind, I don't want to have to like remind myself to grab them from the storage unit cause I will forget. Okay. I moved the trash bag holder over here instead. And then I moved the dryer here like this. Wow. Look at this. Just, I can see everything. I know where everything is. That's, that's great. Everything is where it's supposed to be. The only real thing I have to get back in here is this. Oh, you know? Okay. Yeah, no, that worked out great. So it's underneath here now. 
and then the dryer's up here, and then towel, the paper, paper towel, oh my god, the uh, trash bags. All right, this has to go in storage, so this does not count. Oh, and you know what this is? This is my knee pad. It's technically a gardening, it's technically a gardening pad, but it has been saving my knees. Um, so like when I kneel down to do dogs in the bathtub, it's it's protecting my knees. So I 110% need this in my car. And I'm just gonna put it on top because I do use it most of the time. So I'm just gonna put it right on top of my big table because if my big table's going with me, that's probably going with me too. This I might just take into the storage unit because I don't see this needing to be in my car. Oh yeah, and my face towels for me. Okay, so, okay, so the GoPro kind of died. It didn't die, but it overheated. That's my only issue with the GoPro is that it overheats so quickly. So we are filming in a lower resolution to see if that helps. But And I'm going to open this and put it together. Oh yeah, it smells exactly like lavender and bergamot. Bergamot, oh my God. All right, so just putting it in here after you take it out the plastic wrapping, pretty straightforward, easy, just so I like it. And then close it. I think I'm just gonna put it like right in here. Boom. Perfect, love that. Yeah, that's that's it my car is pretty organized in the trunk at least because that that is what the big thing was today was the trunk perfect amazing i love it okay i'm gonna load everything back up into the car and then we're gonna drive back to my apartment the sun is just beaming i'm gonna drive back to my apartment and then i'm gonna take you guys to the storage unit so i'll see you i'll see you then okay we are in storage. We made it back to the apartment. The lighting down here isn't fabulous, but we're just gonna we're just gonna work with it. This is my storage unit. Um, it's not gorgeous by any means. It's not like aesthetically pleasing, but this is it. It's my bathing bag, grooming bag, bathing beauty. This is my small um, bath, my stand up bath shampoos microfiber towels that I need to get rid of because I don't use them anymore because I use the big ones. Some miscellaneous products, cleaning wipes, other products that I use normally, more stuff, uh, dog model wigs <laughs> that I don't use. Another paw mat is back there and then there's just like other miscellaneous stuff. But these are my shampoos, toothbrushes. We got other, we just got a bunch of stuff in here, trash bag, muzzles. Another mosquito net, just in case the other one's dirty, an apron that I never use, and the stuff for my car. What I really wanted to kind of tackle in the storage unit was just, I don't know, finding more organization. I'm getting rid of this shampoo because it's not awful. It's not my favorite. It doesn't get the dog as clean as I want especially with the dilution, no matter how I dilute it, it makes the coat heavy on poodles, especially. It is not my fave. What I have been loving right now is this Y Bitch um, shampoo. Love it. Um, it. This is like so worth it. It's expensive, but it is worth it. 110% worth it. A client of mine reminded me how good it is. And then up here, I'll take you on a tour still. A hand sanitizer that I don't use. Some extra blades, a brush, this stuff, speed, more ice. My after bath cream rinse that I've been loving as well. Some more anti-stat. This silk serum that you've seen me use on, my, on multiple short haired breeds. Clipper cleaner. I have cotton rounds in here, cotton balls and gloves. And then these are just kind of miscellaneous tools as well. I have some stripping tools, elastics, quick stop holder. I don't really use this anymore because I'm mobile and this will just tip over and fall. Extra undercoat rig, nail clippers, a brush, a mad toothpaste kit. business cards for days, but I'm not accepting new clients anymore. So 
like in that commercial I've been seeing lately, it's future trash. Um, rinse through backup um, thingies, some scissor rings, some drain stoppers that I also don't use, and then these are some dryer nozzles, and just some random stuff. And then down here is more toothbrushes that I use on the go. Okay, I'm gonna put these items in here because I think it'll be more stable. Yeah, let's see how it works. I think that's better. Okay, so now I'm left with this and I think this can go up here. Wow, that's awesome. And usually I have I actually have four of these, so they're I just gotta clean them and they got they're gonna go right there, which is amazing. Love that. Really, that's my storage unit. That's all it that's all it is to it, really. Nothing crazy, just holds all my shampoos and supplies that I need. I have a ton of supplies because um, one, I bought stuff for the business, and two, I used to work in a salon environment. I used to have like my own station and stuff like that, and now I just kind of hop around. I hop around. I get around town. You know what I mean? Not like that, though, of course. Okay, so we're gonna close this up. See you guys back upstairs to say goodbye. Alexa, lights on. That is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like I got a lot of stuff done. Is there anything I wish I could have done today that I didn't do today? Uh, I think if there was something I wanted to do today that I didn't, it would be to have gone to the gym. I would have loved to have gone to the gym today, but tomorrow starts my six day work week. And I just think I needed the rest. The fact that I slept in until 10 o'clock today I think I, I think I needed the rest. I think it was, a, it was a good call to call today a rest day. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna wash out this pump and then head over to my, to my bank and then to my booze house. So I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Make sure to like and subscribe for more dog content, for more house called dog grooming content, for more small business content, for more Boston content and I'll see you guys later. Oh, and if you have not entered the giveaway, watch my previous video for giveaway information. The winner will be picked on July 31st. Bye.